Hi everybody, very welcome to Mentor and yet another video podcast. Today on the podcast, why do pilots sound like robots on the PA? Stay tuned. Good afternoon, this is your captain speaking with just a little flight information. Coming up on the left, we're going to be catching a glimpse of the Grand Canyon. On the right, you can be able to see the Hoover Dam in just a few minutes. We're flying at an altitude of 37,000 feet. Right guys, so this is probably one of my favorite questions that I tend to get quite often, which is why do all the pilots sound the same on the PA? Why does it have to be in that robotic tone? And why can I not increase the volume of the PA so you can hear what they're saying? Right, this is actually a question which is great. I have uh, I've made a video earlier on how you're supposed to do a proper PA, which is a public announcement, okay? So if you're interested in knowing exactly what we think about when it comes to making PAs, then have a look in my, um, you know, in my older videos on the channel and you'll find the instruction there. Now, the reason why all the pilots sound the same um, is a couple of things, okay? First of all, it probably has to do with the fact that we are having to do that PA multiple times a day. So if you think about it, if you, like me, are flying short to medium haul, we're flying normally either two or four flights a day, maybe during five days a week, so that would be approximately 20 times per, per week. And every single time we have to make a PA to welcome uh, the passengers, all right? Now, the one who's doing the welcome and PA is always going to be the captain. The reason for that is because we have to establish our voice with the passengers. So in case we have to do an emergency evacuation, for example, then the passengers will be well acquainted with how our voices sound. And because we have to do that, we have to do it in a way that sounds professional, right? Now, there is a view out in the pilot community of how such a voice would sound. And also, there is probably a view, you know, within the traveling public, how we're supposed to sound. Uh, even though you might think that it sounds a little bit weird or fake or whatever, you're actually expecting to hear a voice like that. You're not expecting a voice that sounds very different. So, it's a little bit of a, you know chicken and an egg discussion here what came first but you know it it is based on a preconceived picture of how a pilot is supposed to sound so that's one thing now what i was mentioning before about the fact that we're doing it all the time it means that we have a set a cup set of rules on how we're supposed to make our pas okay and what is supposed to be in the pas those rules are based on you know, in some cases, legal precedents, okay? We are, for example, not allowed to talk too much about what the reason behind the delays are, especially now when there are loads of juridical rules about um, how much money is going to be paid out to passengers in case of delays. So we have a set of rules uh, that we have to follow. And because of that, we tend to find a format which we can make a PA in, and we stick to that format. The only thing that we changed in it are the actual things like destinations, weather, times, and so on. But the format of the PA is going to be the same every single time. So when we deliver that, when if you've tried that at home, if you've tried to say something that you know by heart, you know that the more times you say it, the quicker you would say it. Because you already know your, your, your tongue is kind of working on autopilot. Like you, you say it, you speak it, and the more you do it, the quicker it goes. Now, this is not right. What you have to do when you are to deliver a, a quality PA is to slow things down and speak very clearly and in a nice and kind of varied voice. But, as you all know, what tends to happen is when you say something out of, you know, um, repetitiveness, you tend to say it in exactly the same tone of voice and in a very, very quick way. And on top of that, we also tend to do the PAs in a very critical time before we're um, before our departure. So we try to get the PA kind of out of the way so that we can focus on maybe completing the checklists or talking to ATC or things like that. So most pilots, and this is not right, I'm just telling you how it is, most pilots just want to get the PA out of the way, and they know it by heart, they take the PA mic up, they might not focus on how close to the mouth they're keeping the PA mic, so they're just kind of rambling off the PA that they have already in their mind while they're actually maybe looking at the departure chart or 
looking, you know, listening to what the first officer is saying, or something like that. Now, as you can imagine, that will not that will not be a great PA. It's not a PA that you are going to remember. So, if you are a budding pilot out there and you are going into this profession, remember that you know, take those thirty seconds off and actually concentrate on making a good sound PA. The passengers will definitely uh, appreciate it. The crew will probably appreciate it, especially if it has, uh, if you have any delays or things like that. So take the time and make a good PA. Now, when it comes to the volume of the PA, you'll be probably surprised to hear that we cannot vary the volume of the PA from the cockpit. Okay, The PA is set to a preset volume and we are just delivering it. So it we will be able to, to um, influence the quality of the PA by moving the mic but as for the volume the volume is preset and some aircraft is really low some aircraft is really high and it's really all technology you know it's it's the mics are you've seen those kind of PA mics the the sound that those producers are not good in the first place so once again if you're a pilot out there and you're listening to this you know take your time make the PA proper Think about it before and have a good and intonated voice when you deliver the PA because it's going to make a huge difference to how you are perceived, how your airline is perceived and the passengers will definitely appreciate it. Guys, that's that's all I had for today. Like I said, if you want to check out the, um, the actual technique uh, instruction that I did about PAs. You can just search for PAs. It's in there in my old videos. And also, I hope that all of you who are watching this have subscribed to the channel and that you're telling other people about this channel because I am constantly trying to grow the community. Uh, I have created this Mentor Aviation app where you, if you are a budding pilot or you are already a pilot, can go in and you can ask and answer questions to each other. And it's becoming a great community full of people who are positive, constructive and helping each other out. So I am building all of this, but I'm going to need your help. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about it. If you have any Facebook groups or things that you think might be interested in this, tell them as well. And as always, guys, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you next time.